Hello people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to June's edition of the Geek Gear Wizardry box. I get these boxes every month, I have done since April 2017. I love unboxing these on camera, I love Geek Gear and yeah, because of that and because it's really hot right now, I'm just going to get right on into it. <laughs> the best part of any Geek Gear Wizardry unboxing is this. So there is the Hufflepuff tissue paper because I'm a Hufflepuff if you didn't already know. I'm going to give you guys the first little glance of what's inside and I'm just going to pull out what's on top which is this month's t-shirt. Oh I love this blue purpley colour. I'm going to give you guys the first look. Oh that is so so pretty. That is so cute. I love that. It's kind of similar to the owl one we got last month. It has this kind of paint splatters around the outside which is what the owl one got. Another thing I really really love about this is that it doesn't scream Harry Potter. You know I could wear this top out and about and nobody would know that it's Harry Potter related unless well unless you have the Geek Gear boxes or you watch people unbox them. So yeah oh I love that that is so cool. These t-shirts are always lovely quality. I love the colour and yeah Definitely a win. Thank you very much, Geek Gear. Okay, we have another one of these little boxes that says Geek Gear Wizardry on it. Let's just open this on up as it doesn't give away any clues. Oh, it must be house themed because it's come in this little yellow pouch. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think it's supposed to be a necklace. This is very peculiar. It first appears to be some sort of necklace. It has a ring shape on it and this is concealed so there are four yellow diamond shaped things and a little badger inside but actually interestingly this actually opens up as you can see there so yeah oh, it was kind of magnetic as well so I just had a little look at the leaflet thing that comes with these boxes and yeah it's supposed to be a charmed necklace and it opens up because that means you can customize it and add your own little charms inside which is really really cool and it means it's something you can make completely your own it's completely unique comes in great handy of course because I haven't put a necklace on for this video so yeah there you go I've just put it on it's very discreet very unique it can be very unique if you customize it house price absolutely love it great it's simple but effective another thing I've pulled out has a badger on it so it's also house pride let's get this on out oh it's another wall banner look at that that is beautiful and it's really really long oh I love that this is so much better than the other wall banner we got it's actually in the background of my video here the previous wall banner we got from Geek Gear but I'm sorry, even though that one has more Hufflepuffy colours, you know, this is more mustard yellow, which I suppose actually kind of fits the Hufflepuff robes. They're kind of mustard yellow and the scarf and all that. That's really cool. That is really pretty. And yeah, like I said, it's really, really long and it comes up to a corner right at the bottom. That's going on my wall. I don't know where, but it's going somewhere. That is really cool. I love that. I love wall banners. The next thing I have pulled out is a Geek Gear licensed exclusive and it is a Harry Potter coaster set okay are they all from chamber they're all from chamber of secrets so yeah here's the first one it is of Harry Potter and Hagrid and Dumbledore and Dobby are also in the background kind of looks like a snake going around the outside it could be the Basilisk. The next coaster here is of Draco Malfoy and it also features his father Lucius and Snape and again there is a kind of snake going around the outside. There's also Crab and Goyle in the background there. The third one I have here is Hermione and it also features Gilderoy Lockhart and Professor McGonagall. And last but not least and this has definitely got to be my favourite one and not just because it is yellow. It is of Ron Weasley and he's holding a mandrake from Fred and George and Ginny are also there, as is the howler that he received from his mother at the beginning of his second year. Again, really cool. I love that. I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen these kind of designs or prints on anything else before. Yeah, I really like that. The next thing I have here is a metal poster. It comes with a unique magnet mounting system. So this is what it looks like coming out of the box. I'm just going to get it out of the packaging. This is really, really nice. I mean, I know one of the hints was for a stag or a Patronus. I can't remember if it was a stag or Patronus, but we've had two stag related things things in this box which is really really nice. Here is the metal poster. It is of Harry Potter's Stag Patronus. Well, I suppose it could be James Potter's Stag Patronus for all we know in the Forbidden Forest. This is very 
Prisoner Azkaban esque, and right on the back it says Displate, which I suppose is where it's from, and it has a magnet already mounted to the back. So I could use this as a magnet, or I could put it on my bookshelf somewhere, which is obviously what I'm going to use it for. So yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. That's really nice. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow, they are really cool. We have three more recipes for our wizardry cookbook folders. And the first one I've seen, this is the one I was saying this is really cool, is jumper cookies. Look at that, isn't that so cool? You can have Harry and Ron Weasley jumper cookies. I heard a little rattle when I picked these up. We have a cookie mold, which is in the shape of a jumper. So that's how we're gonna make them. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna have to definitely try and do these. Oh, the next one is fantastic bread. We can make our own fantastic beast bread. That is really cool, I love that. Oh yes, I was wondering when this was going to happen. The third one is another drink, and it is butterscotch beer, AKA, Butter beer. We're making our own butter beer, ladies and gentlemen. That is really cool. I love that. Another thing I'm quite excited to try, although I'm no kind of cook, which is why I haven't attempted any of these recipes yet. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, the last thing in this month's box is a print, and it is probably one of the nicest and most emotionally charged prints we have ever had. This is the print. That is absolutely beautiful. So we have like really battered old wall banners at the top of all four Hogwarts houses. We have all of the house crests and the even larger Hogwarts crest. We have Neville in the front of a crowd of people right at the Battle of Hogwarts. And I just absolutely love what this symbolizes, you know? This symbolizes, you know, we, we talk about house pride and how we're proud to be in our own houses. And you know, I've said it, I say it all the time, and I will even after this. When it comes to things like the Battle of Hogwarts, that's when they all come together. I know they said that every Slytherin left at the Battle of Hogwarts, but I can guarantee that not every Slytherin left. I can guarantee some of the Slytherins stayed to fight because, you know, just because you're in Slytherin, it doesn't mean that you are automatically just not gonna fight in the Battle of Hogwarts and you get a free pass out of there and, you know, you're a follower of Voldemort and you want Harry to be killed. That, I feel, is not necessarily true because you know not every Gryffindor, Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw stayed so how do we know that every single Slytherin left anyway I'm going on and on about this but that's just that's what I'm getting from this print I absolutely love that that is that's going on my bookshelf yeah this is one of my favorite prints we've ever had in a Geek Gear box I absolutely love that <laughs> So there you go, that is the entire contents of this month's Geek Gear Wizardry box. My favourite items from this box are probably the t-shirt, due to it being not Harry Potter related unless you are really clued in. And obviously, because I went on such a rant about it, this print, and it's not all the time, in fact it's very rare that I say one of the prints is my favourite from the box. Even though I do enjoy the prints, there's always something else that just wows me even more. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? What was your favourite thing from this month's box? If you enjoyed this video, then why not leave a like, because that would be really awesome. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, why not take a look around, and if you like what you see, then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner? I make magic videos every single week so come subscribe to join the fun thank you all very much for watching and i will see you next time